I am Captain Trips, and I'm going to be showing you guys some tutorials to make some pretty cool potion bottles. Alright, first off, I got some of these glass um, potion bottles uh, from Michaels. They're like a dollar, a uh, dollar fifty. They're they're pretty nice. Um, they look great, but they're glass, so you don't really want to have them in your pouch or on your person while you're in combat or things like that. So. We're going to take a few plastic bottles and make them look just a little bit better. Okay, so first off, you want to pick a base bottle that looks good. Like, choosing this bottle over this bottle. Obviously this one, it's got swirls in it. It's got things where it doesn't, it doesn't look like a modern soda bottle. Well, this is very recognizable as a um, modern water bottle. You don't always have to do period accurate, but if you just distance yourself enough from modern, um, as long as the rest of your, your garb is good, people are going to see it, and if they don't know what it is, they're going to associate it with the rest of the stuff that is on your person. Alright, so we're going to get started first with uh, this little guy. I liked it. It's a nice green color. I didn't remove the tag all the way because I'm terrible and didn't do prep work for this. But yeah, basically I'm just going to do... Make the cap look a little bit better and add some detailing. And then I'm going to show you some of the other things I did on this little guy. Okay, for this it's pretty simple to make the cap uh, look a little less modern and it gives it a really nice effect. Is you just take your hot glue gun and you just apply a nice even coat all along the sides. Okay, once you get it all on the sides, I like to take just the side of the hot glue gun and kind of smooth it all out. Um, this kind of gets rid of some of the texture, so if you really like the texture to look, um, don't do this. But even doing this, there, there's still going to be nice, nice texture. It's just not going to be as um, like how the, the strokes you took with the hot glue gun were. Alright, and then after that, after you got it nice and smooth, you just do the same thing to the top. Then you just wait for that to dry. Alright, so you can kind of see the nice texture. It's going to look really nice once you throw a, a coat of acrylic paint on that. Um, but the next thing I like to do is I like to fill up this little gap. Uh, not all the way, but just, just a bit. And it kind of gives it a more rough look. You can even start to go down some and do some of the, the neck of the bottle too, if that's... Uh, something you think you'd like the look of. Okay, so that's pretty hard to see, but I just took a little bit of hot glue and did right along the, in between the, the gap in the neck and the, the top. And then what I'm also going to do is uh, just run some beads of hot glue down the sides just to kind of give it some extra texturing to the bottle. So I got those details lines added in. Next I'm just gonna do a line right along here and then I'm gonna texturize this bottom because I think that'll make it really uh, look nice. Alright, so you can't really see, but I did um, this bottom piece as well. I didn't do the, the bottom bottom, because this is going to be a, a poison, so it's not really going to be something that hangs off my belt. It's going to be sitting down flat on the table 90% of the time, so I'm not really that concerned about the bottom. Um, but if this was if this was like a, a healing potion or a mana potion or something, and it was going to be, like I said, attached to your belt hanging, um, that's probably something you'd want to just layer hot glue, kind of cover up this you know, the symbol and this little line here, because that's not 
that doesn't look great. You can also use this same technique to add on some um, runes or wording or whatever you want to the puddle. Um, my girlfriend actually does really good calligraphy writing, so I'm just going to make some labels for these. Um, I did this just to try it out. I didn't really like just how it added to that, so that's when I did all this extra stuff. And I really like this portion more than I like this part portion. But this is this is pretty cool, and I think it's a nice little effect you can add to some of your bottles, especially if you don't have the resources of a dedicated girlfriend to write things down that look amazing for okay, you. Okay, so here I have a smaller, I believe this is like a hand soap bottle. Um, you can pick these up. You can order these online for like 20 cents each, and then if you buy 100 of them or something, you get free shipping. But um, you can also pick these up uh, in the cosmetics section. Um, sometimes they don't have these nice, just round, topped off caps, but like I said, look around for them. You can probably find something like this pretty easily. They're really cheap. They're nice. This is going to be my um, kind of mana potion, or excuse me, um, health potion I'm going to be carrying on my person for um, combat, and I don't want this to be glass or anything where it can break. And then I also kind of want it to be cheap, so I don't really have a problem if I lose this, or if I give it to another player and they walk off with it, like, big deal. Alright, so I'm doing the same technique on the cap. Try and use this as a water bottle. I'm gonna do some stuff to this other than the hot glue, but I'm not really sure what yet. But I'm just gonna do the cap real quick. And um, yeah. Okay. So here's how everything turned out. Um, I really like this. Still gotta clean up. Uh, it's a little bit of glue residue, but that'll be quick. I'm gonna put some labels on them. Uh, make them look really nice. Right, so here's how my potion bottles turned out. Uh, they're pretty nice considering they were just a little plastic tap cap. And uh, yeah. I think it looks great. You don't have to deal with a cork that may or may not slide undone um, while it's in your pocket. It's a nice tight seal, but it doesn't look like a modern screw cap. Here's my water bottle. Um, I see a lot of people, they have some really nice drinking vessels, you know, that are like uh, leather covered or wine skin, but they have the they have the screw on caps. And, you know, the screw on caps are great because you don't have to worry about, like I said before, um, them coming unscrewed in your, or uncorked in your pocket or anything crazy like that and they're simple easy access um this is just a little trick that i think really makes them look it's a nice way to disguise them because like i said i see a lot of people with the um the leather wrapped water bottles or the the little mini wine skins and things and they got these blaring white twist off caps like that so um yeah i'm gonna add some rope to this maybe a label gonna add some labels to these guys but uh I think it's a pretty cool build for I think this guy was 47 cents these were 25 I used maybe 30 cents worth of paint and um maybe 10 cents worth of hot glue and I think they look pretty great for what they are